Hello everyone, it's the letter 10 and I'm back today with a very small indie game. I actually saw this on Reddit through the indie games or indie gaming subreddit, one of those two, called Stamp Boy. Uh, it is very short, but I absolutely love this game. It's cute, short, not too expensive. It's only $2 right now on Steam. Came out uh, not too long ago. It is made by a small developer in China called Sadie Make Games or Sadi Make Games. Despite all that, um, as you can see, it is a platformer puzzle. It does have some straight platforming in a couple of the stages throughout the game. But let me tell you how much I, I love this. Uh, the developer said he was inspired by the Mario vs. Donkey Kong game. Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong games in, uh, on the Game Boy Advanced. Um, and you can definitely see the influence. You see where you have to use the little springs or their arrows in the state. Um, where they will bounce you up. You got the conveyor belts. You've got uh, these little gem things, which you technically don't need to get unless you want to get all the achievements, which is super easy if you even go through the game one time. Uh, the game's not perfect, um, but I'm not really expecting that for a $2 game. I actually expected it to be worse somehow, but oh my god, it's so good. You got the donut blocks, you got the buzz saws, the little uh, slime characters uh, remind me of Goombas. You got moving platforms, cannons that you can jump on. Uh, there are four worlds in the game, uh, and of course, after you do uh, a certain amount of, of, of levels in a world, you will then face a boss. Each boss is pretty easy to dispose of. The only one I really had trouble with, I think, was um, the last boss, the carrot guy. Um, now, there is a lot of broken English in the game during the cutscenes, but I'll be completely honest, I think that's part of the charm of a game like this. I don't care that the, the English is broken, I will forgive it, being that the developer is not English. I don't care. This game is amazing. The soundtrack, the sound effects. There aren't really any um, in-game options to adjust the sound effects, so some of them might get on your nerves a little bit. Especially when you're on the main menu and you're moving up and down in that sound. Uh, oh my god, it, it, it's it's good. Uh, it's not perfect. It's it's more than serviceable, but I mean for an hour to clear and get a hundred percent and only two dollars I think that's a really uh, That's a really good bargain uh, But yeah, go check it out. It's uh, like I said, it's on Steam I would like to see this maybe on switch, but I really don't know how they would justify a two dollar game on switch Maybe there'll be new courses or worlds or whatever made uh, But I love it. <laughs> Look at the spiny and the bats and the ice cream boss And there's a mushroom boss and of course the carrot and there's also a bee which doesn't really look like a bee uh, But yeah, I love this rising stage with the lava and there's another stage in the snow world where it goes straight down These are more straight platforming. I wish there was more like this but I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna fault the developer for making a short game. It's considering it seems to be their first published game. But, uh, yeah, this is, it's good. I, I know I say that a lot, but, you know, I'm very picky on what games I like and I don't like. For anybody that knows me. And, uh, that's pretty much it. So, Stamp Boy. Uh, cute pixel art, great music. Uh, fun gameplay that you can knock out like I said in an hour or if you split it up into two parts 30 minute sessions twice But uh, as always, thank you again so much for watching uh, Feel free to check out my other reviews my steam uh, group my streams I, I do streams regularly on twitch and mixer for mixer or twitch even though I'm a twitch affiliate. Sorry twitch I love you. But anyways have a great day, and I cannot wait till the uh, next review. Bye